Hello everyone, my name is Johan Stein and this is a short video about cloud computing technology and I'm asking the question, what is cloud computing technology or more specifically, what is the cloud? And here is a definition to start us off with. A cloud computing service provides on-demand access to computer system resources such as processing power without requiring the user to actively manage them. It enables the delivery of on-demand computer services from apps to storage and processing power, usually via the internet on a pay-as-you-go or consumption basis. Now, cloud computing sounds strange, but if you use it every day in the likes of our um, Gmail, our Dropbox, our Google Drives, our uh, iStorage or iCloud storage, it's such a part of our life, almost every application on our smartphones and on many of our um, devices like iPads or um, our laptops, etc., utilize cloud storage and cloud processing technology. I don't know why they called it the cloud. It kind of makes sense from a technology point of view. But if you're not working in tech and you say to somebody, store it in the cloud, what does it mean? It's like somewhere up there in the cloud, in the netherworld, if you would. But essentially, it means that we are utilizing other people or other, com other com companies, computers, processing power. So when I use my Gmail or when I use Microsoft Azure or Amazon AWS or the multitude of other cloud service providers, I'm essentially using their physical computers, their servers, based somewhere else in the world. So the word cloud sounds a bit weird. It's not somewhere up there in the sky. I'm essentially just utilizing another organization's computing power on an as-I-need basis. So cloud technology has revolutionized the way we work. I no longer as an individual or especially as an organization have to acquire massive amounts of servers or processing power I no longer have to have all the so-called tin in my basement, all these servers. I can utilize the servers of another company and I can use it when and as I need it. I can pay for it when and as I need it, which is revolutionizing and has revolutionized the way many companies are planning their infrastructure demands and how they want to move into the future using exponentially available computing services and processing speeds that they need. We have entered the so-called as a service era, and there are so many of these around, but as you see on the screen, infrastructure as a service platform or software as a service, which means when and as I need it, I can have the necessary infrastructure or platforms or software or many other kind of technological or IT services at my disposal and I only pay for it on a consumption basis or as and when I need it. There are so many benefits to individuals, but especially to organizations utilizing cloud technology. There's obviously a question around privacy. When you think of POPIA here in South Africa or GDPR or other privacy legislation, it's often a challenge if the, your customer information is stored outside of your geographical territory. But more and more organizations like Microsoft and Amazon and others are building services and, and centers, data storage centers, in the geographical locations of their customers so that I'm still using the cloud, I'm still using Microsoft or Amazon and others, but I have a guarantee that the, the information of my customers are privately secure and kept into, in my um, geographical location. The other benefit, of course, is that I can massively scale the computing power I need as an organization as and when I need it without investing millions of dollars into servers and infrastructure that I may only need at certain times. So cloud technology is such an important part of our 
current and our future technological innovation. It is there for individuals, it is there for organizations, and especially in the age of artificial intelligence and machine learning, there are so many modules we can use that we can buy on a consumption basis, that we don't have to build ourselves in order to analyze and understand the behavior and the needs of our customers. Cloud technology is very exciting. It's not as mystical as the word cloud seems to imply. It's definitely something worth investigating uh, and investing into.